find out from a blank document it was difficult by the way there was a one outlier score yesterday 49 or something uh, that there was a misunderstanding because flush left for each line he had marked one error so there were 19 additional errors so his actual score was 30 and we have also drawn a histogram of the errors you can see 52 is the actual expected thing this is the histogram of what the class did so the mode is mode was 30 <coughs> 31 the mean was also 31 and sigma was about 4 so 31 plus minus 4 errors was one sigma limit now we'll quickly go through the errors so first is authors as proofreaders first line on both sides this symbol is shown that uh, says center since this is a title it should be in center center of the matter then as proofreaders the a should be small it is not marked here because in a title if there is a non-functional word like a preposition if it is shorter than two letters then it is not to be capitalized for example the times of india o in of is not capitalized but if it is four letters or longer like before or some such word then you have to capitalize it plus this being a title it should be set in lower capitals this says if it is set in full capitals then it becomes very disturbing so in lower capitals the letter height remains the same as a small small letter but it becomes all capitals so that is a convention then i don't care what kind of type you use for my book so here flesh left these symbols give that this book should come inside and this should come left for my book a myopic author once said to the publisher now after this the myopic of author said to the publisher is outside his quotation now again you are quoting him back flush left means uh, you can make everything align flush with left, left you have line. to align everything on the left that, that's the mean flush means align it is there in this so but please print the proof in large type this that myopic author is saying so this has to be into inverted commas so this is the opening inverted commas uh, opening quotation marks and this closing quotation marks then with current technology it is inside because he has stopped and now you are coming out the author who is saying has stopped so just now don't go into minor details we have to cover 50 errors later on we will discuss again so with current technology such a request no longer sounds ridiculous in ridiculous what is wrong see here l has been crossed out and closed the space and in next line l has been inserted so when you break a word at the end of a line you cannot break wherever the physical line ends but you have to break so that a complete syllable can be pronounced within the line and in the next line so within the syllable you cannot break if you have to make any other adjustment so here, here read d q less so l o u is part of l and s is separate so that has to be together l has to be together with o u s to those familiar with typesetting and printing this is familiar because the spelling is wrong so there is i inserted over there yet even today type is not reset except this spelling E X C E P T it should be. So this is a sign showing that you turn around and says transpose. It is not reset except to correct errors. Now proofreading is an art and craft. This is a new para starting because this is a new thought starting. That's why here it says para. Then proofreading is an art and a craft. Now first he had crossed out and a craft thinking that proofreading is an art. But later on the proofreader realized that the original is correct that it should be art and craft so this he has made dot 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 that it is referring to this and he has said state state means let it remain as it was what was the original it's like undo command all authors should know the rudiments this a is extra because it is rudiments so it says delete and close rudiment thereof comma Though no proofreader expects them to be masters of it. Watch proofreader. What has happened is, this line has come twice. This often happens in <coughs> composing. So he has crossed out the whole line and said delete. So no proofreader 
expect them to be masters of it watch not only for misspelled or incorrect works now in spell check even works will be given as correct because works is a valid word but here what is needed is incorrect words so the k is crossed out and d is put there often a more elusive error this elusive has been made into elusive what is the difference between elusive and elusive elusive means it appears different but it appears to you elusive means it escapes your attention it eludes you so though both the words sound similar the actual word required here is elusive because the errors escape you often the most elusive error now often the most elusive error started with a bracket whenever you open a bracket you should close it so after error this says right bracket but also for misplaced spaces this c d should be near e and there should be space after this so here it says close up and space when there are multiple errors they are listed in sequence in the margin unclosed this closed spelling has gone wrong so transpose unclosed quotation marks and parenthesis this parenthesis is singular and parenthesis is plural of that and parenthesis always come in pairs there is no single parenthesis used so this i should be e even this a spell check might give correct because parenthesis is also a correct word and im it has become proper it should be improper now we'll discuss individual letters uh, errors later first let us go through this because we have other things to do we'll discuss them later on improper paragraphing and learn to recognize the difference between an m dash as shown here actually there can be multiple superlatives also suppose many people have equal rank what will you do they are all most most need not be singular it is only the highest there is nobody highest than higher than that but highest need does not mean singular like lowest does not mean singular there may be many people with zero marks so a is still correct because there may be other equally elusive errors okay so m dash used to separate an interjectional part of a sentence this is again m dash and an n dash that is small dash used commonly between this used commonly commonly should come first because commonly is an adverb it should come before the verb so transpose between continuing numbers here opening bracket should be there because after this there is a closing bracket so opening bracket example pp5 to 10 then and d this should be ad it is anno domini <coughs> and that should be in small caps by convention so 1165 to 70 bracket complete and the word dividing hyphen so word dividing is a compound word that is one which divides the word so between word and dividing there should be there is a hyphen mark otherwise it will mean something else that word is the subject and it is dividing something so whatever is underlined this underlined should not be in italic so it says rome that is roman in a uh, ms what is ms manuscript so it has said spell out spell out manuscript should of course because of course is in between should be italicized so this italicized should be italicized it has been set in roman it should be in italics two lines drawn beneath letters or words indicate that these are to be reset in small capitals here it should actually show small capitals then semicolon three lines indicate full capitals this full capital should be in cap then new para because now there is a new thought starting so to find errors overlooked by proofreader is the author's first problem authors means it is for all authors so it is authors and apostrophe first problem in proofreading proofreading is a single word so close the second problem this r is extra so it is delete this should be problem the problem is not required because when you have declared the first problem second means problem you don't have to de declare again so this problem problem is crossed out itself that word is not required second means problem is to make corrections by using by has to be inserted here using the marks and symbols devised that is acd by professional professional spelling is wrong it should be f e double s i o n l not double f e 
so that is corrected here proof readers that any train type setter will understand this then is wrong it should be that that any train type setter will understand the third means third problem and the most difficult problem for authors proof reading their own works is to resist the temptation to rewrite in proofs now this manuscript editor should be in caps and small caps respectively now this one is the footnote for that so now did you follow all the errors as they have been marked now you have spent maybe 45 minutes on this total the 25 minutes then you again saw this what is the paragraph about what is the content of that come on anybody what do you think is this whole paragraph about see normally author is separate from proof readers so this is not written by an author it is written by a proof reader and he is commenting on when authors try to become proof readers what happens so this is actually written by a proof reader so this is self referential because it is about proof, proof reading itself and it has proof reading errors so i don't know whether you have come across self reference in many <coughs> these things but there are many examples in mathematics for example somebody bought a t-shirt which said <coughs> my mom and dad went to florida and all that they got was this lousy t-shirt so that t-shirt is referring to itself so this is referring to itself not only the whole essay is referring to itself but each individual line is referring to what is within that line which you may not have realized that is when it says m dash there is actually m dash in that line when it says roman or italics within that line that error is there almost every error has occurred in the line which is describing that error so each line is self referential so that is what was special about this paragraph so one more thing we will realize is that when you read for form you lose track of content because our brain cannot do two things at the same time so if you are looking for trees you won't see the wood if you are looking for wood you won't see the trees normally we read for content that's why the brain ignores errors and makes out the meaning and that is why we are unaware of our own errors or even of those of other people once we become aware initially it takes time <coughs> because you have to read separately for this and then separately for content for example in journalism courses first time a draft is submitted the instructor only does proof reading and sends it back unless it is correct as a proof he doesn't go through the content because he can't do two things at the same time and half the time is spent in proof reading writing is a small part of that so with this we finish our review of this exercise if you have any doubts we'll clear them later on so while they distribute the next set of exercises which are for individual group i would like you to remember very clearly Uh, what prakash said that it is impossible for us to simultaneously concentrate on error finding and correcting and also concentrate on writing or reading meaning out of a text and both are important one is not a substitute for the other a perfectly correct english writing no errors absolutely zero errors need not necessarily make any sense at all on its own so the sense has to be there the meaning has to be there which is your main activity but it has to be correctly done the sequence in which it can be read is sadly first you have to correct errors and then only you can understand the meaning now the whole objective of this and subsequent exercises is apart from telling you general things about effective communication to prepare you for technical communication and presentation how many of you are registered for a seminar this semester now let me ask the other question how many of you are not registered for a seminar a few people this was so last year also the final assignment for you will be to prepare your seminar report which is both correct and meaningful so you get double credit when you do a good seminar you'll get credits for your seminar but if you prepare a good report you'll get credits in this course as well towards that end we will be having a series of sessions first dr samir sahasrabuddin so he will be engaging you on visual communication the series of sessions he is also trying to use a flip classroom so he has started recording lectures short videos which you can see presentation and visual communication are extremely important we do tend to use graphics in our slides for example in a completely haphazard manner thinking that we have done a good job but making a very bad impression that should be corrected that he will do it we'll follow this up with sessions by professor sahana murthy which are of course pre recorded but we will use those lectures to 
understand how to read a research paper and how to conduct literature survey two very very important things for both of you reading a research paper requires training we cannot read it like a story book nor can we mug it up so we'll go through that uh, set of exercises immediately following this you will start beginning putting your literature survey which i'm sure you would have started conducting already but you will you start putting your literature survey in a proper format that will be described and discussed here ideally that should be the format in which the literature survey for your seminar report or project report should be included in your final seminar so and and towards the end as i said you will have to make a brief presentation that time it will be a 10 minute presentation and we will do it before your seminar presentation and you could use that opportunity as a mock presentation does that make sense to you the people who are not registered for a seminar must be doing some other concentrated academic activity like a project or r&d project or something like that otherwise what i will do is i will give a topic for literature survey to all those people who are not enrolled for a seminar and all of them will have to do literature survey on that topic it will be an interesting technical topic it will not be a a social topic or anything so i'll give that topic uh, we'll do that in, in on, on tuesday the week after right no 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 i will introduce that thing uh, first because that they have to start working on the literature survey part but the lectures will can so i'll intersperse some lectures in it all right very taken more time now <coughs> what professor prakash has circulated actually in interview somebody took my interview many years ago and it was published in the brain tree the iit thing now there were several errors in that so what he has done is he has broken it up into uh, different segments and one segment has been given to each group now for the next 10 minutes find out the errors in that segment you have the print out before you anybody who hasn't got a sheet permission the original article in the print article is of this size it is impossible to do any proof editing properly on that so the people who wrote this part what they should have done is what we are doing that is print portions of it in larger font with spacing so that you can proof edit individual components properly by the way you must understand that we are spending so much time in proof editing and you might consider to be it superfluous it is not so every good technical paper that is published goes through this process at the author's end before it is submitted even for the first time that is the rigor with which academic communications have to be made none of you ever do that we have not done that all of us as i said earlier have a problem in not disciplining ourselves to do it Now you are all going to be professional throughout your life. Whatever you write, it has to go through this rigor, and that is the reason we are spending so much time on it. Because our schools and colleges sadly have not spent that much time on on the correctness of the language. And although we are using English as a medium here, absolutely the same thing applies to writing in any language. The other day, Secretary School Education, Mr. Khutia, was commenting in a meeting. that when he went he is from odisha cadre and when he went to odisha he saw the signage on the streets so it was written in english it was written in odia and he said both contained spelling and grammatical mistakes the people who wrote did not make mistakes in english because english was not their language they also made mistakes in odia although odia was their language and the reason is simply this we have not disciplined ourselves to ensure that anything that we write is correct so i am repeating this but please note my words the ability to articulate yourself correctly and succinctly both in verbal and written form will be the single most important characteristic for your rise in your professional if you don't do it just just start so please pay attention to this. use this opportunity now to correct this as quickly as possible this is an exercise we'll do it for 10 minutes here later on you can carry that page home but don't just leave it to spend 10 15 minutes over that again and i will request uh, professor uh, vaidya to finally circulate the 
द करेक्टर थिंग एंड द अपलोडेड इन द बुक वन थिंग अबाउट मूडल बिकॉज वेन यू डू एन एक्सरसाइज हियर देर इज अ शॉर्ट ऑफ ग्रुप कंपल्शन एवरीबडी इज सिटिंग हियर and when i distribute it you have to spend those 10 minutes or 5 minutes doing it when i'm at home in my hostel although i have my laptop i have my access but i am tempted to spend that time on something else so i may not be able to spend requisite time to actually study the material on the way now that's a lacuna we can sort it one suggestion is if you can form small groups of friends within the hostel and decide that next 20 minutes we'll spend together sitting on one laptop and looking at it that might be a better idea form small groups not necessarily these groups just to ensure or if you can read or you can study the material on web on your own perfectly but you have to do that otherwise you lose the context and you lose this is that okay just do the first page for now All right. Uh, Prince Vaidya wants to spend a few minutes uh, discussing the errors here, but before that, I would like to conduct that obligatory part of pairing and sharing. So share your errors with your neighbors and talk to them about what they have found and what you have found. Yeah, there are some people who haven't found any errors at all, which is okay. Find out if your neighbor has found any error. If your neighbor has also not found any error. find out in your entire group if anybody has found errors the whole group has no errors okay are there groups at least some people some errors can you raise your hands okay you have some errors so very quickly for two or three minutes the point is you have to convince each other that the error founds are indeed errors and that nothing is missed all right so those who had not found any errors are they now convinced that there are at least some errors or not yet you know the famous adage about software inability of the testing team to find a bug in the software does not decide that the software is bug free about english writing is exactly the same thing our combined inability to find an error does not prove that the passage is error free there is a great similarity between software and english text all right Prakash, like this. Okay, hello. Now you look up. We'll just quickly go through this first page. So most of you have noticed that the left side is flush, but right side is jagged. But if you see the original article, it is three columns in a large sheet, and the actual column is very small, like newspaper column. So right jagged. what you call that right is not flush is a style chosen by the editor because otherwise you will get too many hyphens due to word breaks because the each line is very small so on single page it appears as an error but when you have three columns it is a style of the magazine now as for the other error first line uh, just just one second yeah uh, what is important he said something very important whether to align a paragraph on both left and right margin or align it only on the left and leave the right jacket is a choice of style and both styles are okay uh, only thing is what he mentioned is if you try to align it on the right you may have to break words now most modern software does not do that it actually inserts extra spaces in between to elongate that line with fewer letters such that it is flush on either side but you'll observe that sometimes the software does a very foolish job and a suddenly you see a sentence in which there are large gaps between the words because you have insisted it should be flushed on either side so hyphenation in long text will be sometimes necessary and that is where i would like you to remember the rules for hyphenation you cannot put a hyphen any place at any character as is but we digress okay so first line there are very few at iit bombay comma who may have escaped because if you don't put the comma it means bombay who have may have escaped the next word connects to the previous word but this refers to there there are very few 
so there is a comma then fourth line remembered by his current and past students comma as someone who here again if you don't put the comma it reads students as it's not students as then eighth line one could look up up to and on the other hand he is someone who is quick witted so these are actually two half sentences and it says on the one hand you can do this on the other you can do this so there is a contrast between these two clauses so there should be a semicolon before the end so there are two equally strong clauses and they are contrasting then eighth line from bottom of that paragraph of varied natures so of varied natures nature is an abstract noun and abstract nouns have no plurals so varied implies that uh, there is a variation but nature is one then third line after that comes at a premium comma and it is almost impossible to get so before the and there should be a comma because it is a conjunct so it is joining two clauses when and comes between two similar things like two similar nouns two similar adjectives two similar numbers there is no comma required but if it is joining something longer than a word and joining clauses then there has to be a comma before the and then next fourth line after the fourth line he has held important administrative positions comma and is credited because and is credited is a second sentence credited is its own verb so there is a comma there then the last one ministry of information technology is this apostrophe s for possessive is used only for living beings whether animal or a person but not for an organization so that's why you don't call uh, india's government you call government of india or our institute is not called technologies institute it is called institute of technology so this should have been converted into of but they even otherwise ministry of information technologies yeah. even if apostrophe is permitted yeah. it would become apostrophe only for technology, technology. it should be ministries this. ministry so, should have apostrophe when there are two adjunct words together you want to put a apostrophe you cannot do that you have to use of nothing as that should be whether to use hyphen depends on present convention because when the like classroom initially it was two words then it became class hyphen room now classroom is treated as one word because it has become familiar so it depends on the milieu in which you are living and which words are currently understood as single words like workshop we don't call work hyphen dash workshop is treated as one word so you have to remember which audience you have and whether they will understand the word and what was the other one technological applications no i think technology application because what we are what he intends is to say applications of technology technological application would actually be a a, a adjective to something else yeah but these ap- applications of technology is what is intended not technological application is actually like a compound word is like a transform anyway yeah. uh, i am yeah oh, please the word technology Off. No, not there. Off has to no, be no. put off earlier. No, no. Off means you change the whole construction. The whole construction. So you have to say currently involved smart, smart with card the smart initiative smart card of initiative of the Ministry of Information. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You have to rephrase the complete. Anyway, I am happy that we are spending time. Please notice that this is already a published material, which means. somebody like us would have spent time in finding out errors and that is one of the reasons why you could not find error because you are going through a third or fourth iteration perhaps you will also notice that most of the errors are related to correct use of punctuation marks comma and semicolon so be very careful i also learnt it from him by the way 3 years ago except that my colleague professor kannan mautgalli accuses me of overtly using commas everywhere in my text so he is now asked me to proof edit all my submissions removing comma so you have to be careful with it but i think uh, we'll stop here